We're always sort of watching. We're always spectating. We're always on the margins of things, looking in at somebody else's life and kind of hoping, hoping they'll look in on our life too. And it's turned us into a kind of culture of social voyeurs. I uh, take students about every other year up into the mountains for a three-week uh, class during Jan term, uh, and it's called um, uh, Christian Spirituality. We kind of study the history of Christian spirituality. We read a lot of primary texts. Students follow a monastic routine. They worship four times a day. They serve each other. Uh, there's a lot of quiet and so on. But I have them fast from all media for the month. So they can't check Facebook, they can't uh, email, they can't text, they can't talk on the, on the phone, their cell phones, they can't look at uh, Instagram, nothing. They're, they go cold turkey. And the first few days, not all of them, but many of them are somewhat agitated by what's going on. And in retrospect, this is what I'll hear them say. Something like, I feel like I'm missing out. I, I'm not able to follow my friends on Facebook. Uh, I'm not able to text back and forth. And it's curious to me that they use that word missing out. And I sense that in a world that is so saturated by social media, we're so connected to so many people, I wonder if we're so connected, we're not really connected at a more intimate level with anyone. And what happens to them after maybe four or five days a week is that they, they start to be present to what is happening right there. And they start to see that where God is, their life is. And that God can be there with them when they're studying, when they're praying, when they're preparing meals, when they're doing dishes. And they end up becoming more present to the actual experience and more confident that what is happening right there and right then is significant. It's, it's spiritually significant for them. So they start to inhabit time and be present to what is going on right then in a way that's rich and full and meaningful to them. It's actually quite a lovely discovery. And I think all of this goes together. They, they shed this kind of uh, imprisonment Enslavement would be a better word. Enslavement to um, the world of social media and they become more present to what is happening right then and there.